Welcome everyone. Today we'll be doing some lawn top dressing in my yard. I did some recent analysis of my soil and I'm dealing with two issues. One is that my soil pH is too high. It's above 8.0. And two, I have pretty sandy soil. The top few inches of soil are decent. I spent a lot of time over the last few years adding organic material to the soil, but it still needs a lot more work. It's June here where I live in the southwest and we're about to get into some hot weather over the next few months and I thought it was a good opportunity to add some moisture holding capability to my soil and try to reduce the pH. Today I'm going to mix peat moss and worm castings. I'm just mixing these two items together in my wheelbarrow then I'll load this set into my compost spreader. This is a pretty cool little tool helps spread organic material it's just a big drum with wire mesh. After loading up, I just snap the locks, closed the gate, and it's ready to go. After loading up, I just snap the locks, closed on the gate, and it's ready to go. When walking with the compost spreader, I'm just trying to move at a consistent pace and not overlap too much. There are some areas where I go over an area a couple times because I know I have a low spot, so I'll hit it a couple times. Just gonna load up and keep going. And you can see it does a good job of spreading the material evenly. You do get some chunks that stay behind at the end. You can either remove these or I just break them up. Here's a closer look at the label. It's called Worm Gold Plus. It includes worm casting, rock dust, and kelp. You can mix it into your soil or potting soil, 10 to 20%, and then cover it with compost. But because I'm top dressing my lawn, I'm following closer to the turf directions of applying a thin layer, about an eighth of an inch thick. You can see the peat moss has this very fine, fluffy texture which really does well for holding water. The worm castings have this great dark look, lots of good nutrition for the lawn. I'm adding a little water to my mix. The peat moss tends to clump up when dry, so I wet it to help break it up. And of course my hoe breaks, but no problem. Just force that head in and pound it into the ground a few times.
So instead of going north and south again, I'm going to change my direction and go east and west, and this just helps ensure good coverage. I have a few low spots here, I'll just fill it in with some of the chunks. Now I'll go over the lawn with a rake and help smooth it out. And water in and we're done. This is it after I've watered it in. Looks pretty good, good coverage. So check back next week and we'll see how the grass responded. Thanks for watching everyone.